Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with my favorite apple pie recipe. It's also going to be a test for that Pillsbury pre-made, pre-rolled pie crust. So I was going to test that for my American food site, so I figured I would show you a very easy apple pie recipe. What you do is you take some sugar and brown sugar, butter and cinnamon, and a very small pinch of salt. We're going to add just a about a quarter cup of water, just a splash of water to get it started. And on medium heat, we're going to melt that. It's going to come to a boil, and you're going to turn it off. So that's kind of a quick caramel sauce. So here's our pie crust. Uh, this is the first time I've ever used this. So they come in this 15-ounce box. There's a picture of pie on there, in case you're not clear. And uh, they're individually wrapped, rolled, and ready to use. So very, very convenient. I have to apologize to my Aunt Angela and my mom, who are just incredible pie makers. They're probably cringing right now that I'm using pre-made pie crust. But anyway, it's in the uh, spirit of experimentation. I'm going to press in my bottom crust. So I have four large cut-up gala apples. Most recipes will call for six or even eight apples for these apple pie recipes. I like crust. I'm not huge on the filling. So you can put more apples if you want, but for me, four large apples works perfectly. Now, as you saw as I was rambling on there, I took a pizza cutter and cut the top dough into eight strips. I'm going to do a lattice over the top. Now, you don't have to, you know, uh, weave it and make it look all, you know, magazine covery. You can just uh, put four across and four the other way. Now, here you go. You're going to fold over the edges so that they seal, and then you're going to give it the old crimp. Crimping, nothing to do with crumping. Now, crimping is very easily done. You just hold two fingers about an inch apart, you press, and you press your other finger in between them. And it just makes a little, like, scalloped edge. That's just optional. It looks pretty. But you don't have to do that either, just as long as they're all sealed. Then, here's the secret to this technique, and it works so nicely. Spoon over your caramel sauce. It's going to drizzle down between the lattice. It's going to coat all the apples. But also, you want to make sure all your dough on the lattice is covered. Because we're going to put that in a very hot oven, 425 for 15 minutes. And that's going to start the caramelization on the crust because it's coated with that sugar syrup, all right, that caramel. And then you're going to turn it down to 350 for another 35 or 40 minutes until the pie is done. And what you get is the purest, most delicious apple pie ever. Let it cool down completely before you try to slice this, okay? Now here's one thing. The filling doesn't have any cornstarch or flour in it, so it's really just apples and this nice caramel syrup, so it's very kind of a pure, clean apple pie. If you want it more traditional, thicker, more held together, you can add a couple tablespoons of flour to the apples. You can toss them in that before you put them in the shell. Up to you. Up to you. I like this method. You can add a little more apples if you want, like I said. And uh, there you go. A delicious, very pure apple flavor. By the way, the crust worked nicely. I thought it was very good quality. So in a pinch, I think it's probably going to work a lot better than the frozen crust. So a thumbs up on the Pillsbury pie crust. I hope you give that a try. Go to the site, you get the ingredients there. And, as always, enjoy.